there is usually a whole lot of confusion in regard to blood pressure numbers. The first confusion is that the number is a static number. If you take your blood pressure on your arm, what happens is you get a set number and you think that is your number, much in the same way that that is your age. Well, the blood pressure will change throughout the day depending on a lot of factors. But high blood pressure, the main concern with that is that when it's chronically high, meaning no matter whether you're stressed, relaxed, exercising, not exercising, eating a good diet, not eating a good diet, it's always high. But the definition of high blood pressure has been confusing because, for example, when I graduated uh, school, we were never really concerned about blood pressure unless it was 160 over 90. Well, new guidelines have occurred that seem to be lowering that number consistently over the last 25 years. And now people are under this false impression that unless it's less than 120 over 80, that it's not considered normal and you have high blood pressure. Well, what I would encourage you to do is to Google the Mayo Clinic and look at the numbers. And what you'll find is their recommendations based upon uh, the numbers. And you'll find that the number 120 over 80 is a number that people use as a benchmark. And anything above that, people believe is high blood pressure. But if the Mayo Clinic says otherwise, and this is current guidelines. so. The, their goal on their website says that you want to maintain a blood pressure lower than 120 over 80. That is considered a normal blood pressure. Now, what are the recommendations if you have blood pressure that's less than 120 over 80? The recommendations on the side actually say maintain and adopt a healthy lifestyle. Now that's a can of worms, but the thing is, is that, okay, so if your blood pressure is less than 120 over 80, you're doing fantastic, but what should you do about it? Maintain and adopt a healthy lifestyle. Now, between the numbers, the top number, which is the systolic number, if it's between 120 and 139, or if the lower number, which is called diastolic, is between 80 and 89, you are now considered, according to their website, pre-hypertensive. Now this is a scary thought, of course, because no one wants to be named a disease, but when the rubber hits the road, when, it, when you get down to brass tacks about it, what is their recommendation if someone has a blood pressure between, the, between 120 and 139 or 80 and 89? The recommendation is adopt and maintain a healthy lifestyle. So whether you have what's considered normal blood pressure or whether you can, are considered pre-hypertensive, the recommendations are the same. It, it, so in other words, it doesn't matter. So anything below 140 over 90, the recommendations are the same. Now, if you were to go 140 over 159, 140 to 159 on the systolic and 90 to 99 on the diastolic, you are now considered stage one hypertensive. This correlates more with the, the border with when you consider someone normal to abnormal when I graduated uh, chiropractic school. So if you get up to just below 160 and just below 100, you're considered stage one hypertensive. What are the recommendations according to the Mayo Clinic? Adopt and maintain a healthy lifestyle for about a month. Now, wait a minute. So, so far, if you're below 120 over 80, all the way up to 159 over 99, their recommendations are to adopt and maintain a healthy lifestyle. So regardless of where your numbers are, it's always the same recommendation. Now, if those numbers don't change within a month, according to the Mayo Clinic, you should consult your doctor for possible medication. 
Okay, that's good advice. I would recommend that one month is an extremely short period of time to try to change blood pressure. It can be done, but the body needs time to adapt. It would almost be as if someone said, well, you're overweight. Give yourself one month to lose the weight. If you don't lose the weight, go to your doctor and get pills to lose weight. So I agree with the uh, Mayo Clinic, although it's pretty ambitious to think one can change their blood pressure uh, in a month, but nonetheless. So now we come to the area where, according to the Mayo Clinic, anything above 160 and anything above 100 is considered now stage two hypertension. What are the recommendations? Adopt and maintain a healthy lifestyle and talk to your doctor about medication. So this idea behind anything below 120 over 80 is normal and anything above that is now hypertension really is not true. If someone is 121 over 81, people start freaking out and going, oh my goodness, I have high blood pressure because they don't understand the numbers. So if you thought this was informative and beneficial for you to understand that you really don't need to worry as much about your blood pressure if it's not exactly 120 over 80, let me know. Ask any questions that you have in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer them. And thanks for watching my videos and subscribing.